Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 5 nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe this surgery. The ocular surface has been prepared in the preparation room. Povidone iodine 5% has been applied over the ocular surface, kept for 3 minutes and then washed out with antibiotic drops. This is just a running wash of the ocular surface with BSS. Main incision has been made with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom. And now a side port is made about 3 clock hours away from the main incision on the left side. In this case, I am going to manage only with one side port. An air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble, Tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule in such a way that the dye touches all parts of the anterior capsule. If we apply the dye underneath an air bubble, staining is very quick and very nice. The dye is washed out with BSS because if we wash out the dye, there is the density of dye in the anterior chamber is uniform. Otherwise, in some places the dye concentration will be more, in some places it will be less. That can cause some problem in visibility. And now is the time to do capsulorexis. The microscope being used has step magnification. This is OMS 90 from Topcon. I, I go to high magnification and do this rexis with the uterita forceps. Size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter. And now hydrodissection is done with small amounts of BSS at multiple points. We are having some red glow, that's why the cataract is appearing softer, it's not appearing grade 5. But as we do the surgery, we will understand that it is really hard. And now, the antechamber has been filled up with 2% SPMC. The phaco needle goes in with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now watch my technique, Mohanta's submarine job. Push the nucleus little down, go into the substance of the nucleus, travel through the nucleus towards the opposite equator. You have reached almost 75% depth and the nucleus gets cracked and you can easily divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. Now, each heminucleus is divided in the same way. The phaco needle go through it. Each large fragment is tilted. The apex is, apex projects towards the anterior chamber and emulsification is started from the undersurface of the apex. If necessary, we can subdivide it, subdivide these small pieces. And now, this is the other heminucleus. It is also divided into two pieces. Now, each nuclear piece is emulsified. Settings. From the very beginning, the ultrasonic energy is set at 85% in continuous mode. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. At this time, during emulsification of the last portion of the last piece, vacuum is reduced to 350, flow rate 35 and ultrasonic energy about 70%.
booster capsule is intact, the chamber was very stable all the time and there is, there is no up and down movement of the posterior capsule in this case. That means the genule was okay. Now I 23 gauze Simco and remove the cortex from the left side. So this width of the side port is about 1.6 millimeter and this 23 gauze Simco goes easily through the side port. If necessary, we can make the side port 1.7 or 1.8 millimeter, but place the side port 90 degree away from the main wound so that astigmatism induced by the main wound is neutralized to some extent by the side port. And now is hydro implantation of a single piece monocular intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and just by a push of the left hand instrument, the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag. And now the irrigating probe is introduced through the main wound. Whatever visco is there in the lumen of the cartridge comes out and we are towards the end of the surgery. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. And then the side ports are closed, hydrating corneal stroma. And a final lavage is done. Final lavage is done and the antechamber is nicely formed. Integrity of the wounds are checked. There is no leakage from any wound. Few drops of mox is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence. This is a heart cataract and we have completed this surgery in seven and a half minutes.